Hi, I'm Maggie Woodley from Red Tent Bar. I'm Kids Chaos. And we're broadcasting from Anika today because guess what? My internet's down again. Honestly, technology is amazing and at the same time it's so frustrating. Today we're going to talk about um, juice cart craft. So before I give away what this is, <laughs> we'll see it in a minute. So anything, things like um, juice cartons, milk cartons, tetra packs. So the property we're kind of taking advantage of is that sort of sturdy cardboard. That's also waterproof, and quite often it comes with that nice little peak shape. Not always, but often. So we were looking at crafts that you could use using those sort of properties um, and container type um, qualities. So my first one, seeing as I've let you had a little peek already, is our little bird feeder owl. And it basically, um, I painted it with enamel. Um, the enamel is a bit more waterproof. I needed two coats for that. I put in a little um, half stick of the perch, and then glued on some um, aqua top. Eyes. <laughs> Quite cute. Having said that, I have had a couple of sort of bird lovers say to me, "Oh, but they think the owl eyes will scare birds off." So I don't know. How many people have been eaten? So maybe equally, not. how many purple owls have we ever seen? I know. I know. I know. Question <laughs> um, These were made ages ago, and the kids still love them. I did actually pinch them off them, knowing that we we're going to do the hangout. So before they got lost in the house again, you know, little little fairy houses. And they were quite fun because the um, juice cartons that we had happened to have sort of like the holes down the side already. We just I just cut the plastic out you know, for extra windows. And um, you know this time I painted them with acrylic for the door. And obviously because my kids are still quite young, um, I thought it'd be nice. You know they're not as good at painting things like squares, so I got them to draw them and then I cut them out for them and they stuck it on. So I quite like it that it's still got that childlike quality. Yeah, and, you know here's. Pip pip sweet, and she added a little extra detail. But yeah. I think it's really sweet. To have These a... really remind me of you know the roll doll story, the giraffe telling you me. Wow, this yes. is perfect for that. Is it? I have to go yeah. read it. It's the roll doll. Um, so yes, and so the kids love playing with these, lots of play. And similarly, these were left over from another craft. I'll show you in a minute. I thought, oh, I'll make some little ones to go with it. Um, so we're going to have a little village. And also the great thing about these ones is that you can stack them. I mean, how fun is that? So it's like a stacking type of activity. Lots of fun. And so the leftover, where are these leftover from? Well, you have a, a big juice cart like that, chop off the top, cut down about a third of the way, um, cut some little round lips, and then put on some stick yourself Velcro. And you've got a little snack box. So I did one that was plain, which do you the kids really like? There's something about branding. I remember when I was a teenager, I used to love things that branded. You know, like big little spin in drama. I had a I had a whole like notebook covered in buckets. I know. So kids love the sort of branding side of things, but equally if you don't, I did one with washi tape just because I could and I thought it'd be fun. And then uh, you know, they're sort of little waterproof and they're quite nice for sort of tomatoes and carrots and grapes and just sort of a little bit of very quick and easy fun, to be honest. So that's me. That's me. I'm going to hand over to Chris, and then we'll come back to Ali at the end. Okay. Chris, over to you. Okay, well I've got um, a bird feeder as well, but mine isn't decorated because my little boy is now eight and is at the stage where he wants to just make things and he doesn't necessarily want to paint everything, which is a bit annoying for me. Because I like them to look nice. But um, there we go. So we, oh, there we go. We, yeah. Other way. <laughs> it's counterintuitive. Oh, there we go. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so we just cut out all four sides, which he yeah. really likes doing because he's old enough to use a craft knife now. Oh, I think he's quite proud about that. Really. So he, he made it. And then we poked a hole through the top here with a skewer, which he also really liked doing, so that we can hang it in, in the tree behind me. Lovely. And, and it won't scare the other animals off because it hasn't got to <laughs> Yeah, but we have made a hand where we've left the back on as well, so you can hang them against the wall. Very good idea, yeah. And then staying in the garden, because that's where we spend most of our time, We this is really simple. We've just chopped the top off a milk carton, and then we've got beans in them. Okay. It's really good for plants that like a long root growth, so we grew sweet peas in them as well, but they're in the garden now, so I can't show you those. It's good to go out on yeah. the stalks. And then he found a craft this morning that he really, really, really wants to make. Of course, we haven't had time, but we get the um, Wildlife Trust magazine. We're members of the Wildlife Trust, and they have really good craft ideas in there. And they, this is brilliant. This is to get, um, get little mammals at night to walk through a tube and leave their footprints. 
Oh, how cute really that? So you get your juice cartons, and it needs to be the flatter ones. Yeah. And then you cut the tops off and make a tube, push them together to make a tube. And then you put a sponge in the bottom of that. Uh, yeah, you put a sponge in the bottom with a food dye on and a piece of white paper. And then the little and, and some um, bait, and then the little animals walk through at night. You cover it up with you know, rocks and stones and things, put it against the wall. And in the morning, you've got some footprints, hopefully. Yeah, but you look at things like little mice and stuff, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mice so he's, he's very keen on nature and oh, birds. So exciting. And you definitely have to make it, and you then have to definitely let us see. Make it tonight. very exciting. I think he's going to drain all the juice plants <laughs> in the fridge. Just, <laughs> 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 that was a brilliant idea. Really sweet. Really so sweet. we're going to do that. Rebecca and your girls, I can hear them. <laughs> oh, you're on mute now, Rebecca. Hello. <laughs> I was just mute it, muting the noisiness from in there. Um, oh, okay. I'm shouting at them. Then <laughs> your tactical mute off while you shouted at them. <laughs> <laughs> them shouting at each other. They're playing with Play-Doh, so hopefully they'll be quiet for a second. Um, we've had lots of birthdays in June. We have all the girls' birthdays, so um, we're doing lots of party ideas. And um, you can probably see in the background, Frozen has been the big theme for the twins. Um, and so to decorate their juice cartons for their birthday, um, we've had little mini Olaf. So we're using the little tiny juice cartons. Um, and so that's a really, they can do it themselves as well. It could be one of your activities at the party if you want to keep them quiet for a few minutes. Um, and it's really, really simple. I've uh, just used the funky foam, craft foam and pipe cleaners and some sticky eyes. And that's about it really. And they can just make a little Olaf. And you just need to leave the tops bare so that you can put your juice still in it. Um, and then we're also doing a lot of things for the World Cup because it started. So we've got some World Cup flag, well, world flag juice cartons, which would also be good if you were doing a topic at school, maybe, um, and or you were, and you could always have half whichever team's going, so, um, and then people can choose their side at the party. I love that idea. That's really fun. Um, can, you take, can you take them off and put them on another cart, juice cart? Yeah, that's yeah, pretty, pretty that, that one particularly, because it's all on one, um, so it depends how you do it, if you lay yeah. it out flat once you've got a few of them. You can lay them out flat and make quite a few. It's a bit easier. Uh, but you could do all the different teams, and they look quite nice as well. Yeah, yeah, that's great for grown-up parties too. I love it. <laughs> yeah. And it's quite good for learning your flags, because I wasn't, I wasn't very up on which flags or which country. But I'm now after all the I tell you, the kids really know. My son yeah, really it's great it. for it, isn't it? Yeah. They're really into their football. Excellent. Are we on to Ali? Over to you, Ali. Hello, can you see me? <laughs> yes. So um, I've got a couple of bits again. So, okay, You're following on from the theme of Chris, can you see what we've done here? Yes, you can. So juice, stroke, milk carton, cut the top side panel out, and I've used them to plant. But these obviously are desperate to get into the garden now, so well, I've, I've kept them in here for today. So we've got several of those. It's been really nice to watch them grow on the windowsill, so oh, we've got them all lined up. I know. It's an interesting point about Chris with the beans, they like the long yeah, yeah. growth, so you need it lengthwise, yeah. but the tomatoes are actually happens. fine with shallow, because you know, the tomato grow bags are quite shallow, aren't they? I can't actually see it out of my kitchen window, it's, <laughs> it's so small now. Um, so uh, another couple of little ones, this one is a half-finished, half but you can see it's a juice carton pot and we've cut an interesting shape and we actually have been using this pen pot. This is going to be covered in buttons allegedly but I quite like the swirly pattern on that. That's quite handy. Um, which one next? I'll show you my 11 year old son. So along the same lines as Maggie's but actually this is a, can you guess what it is? It's a narwhal apparently. Can you see from the yes. <laughs> top here? Yes, yeah, apparently. So, and if I tip it forward you can see there's a little light in there flashing away. So he's got that as a night light for his bedroom. Isn't that brilliant? I love it. Oh yes, this bit here, the tongue, is the bit cut down and flapped over. <laughs> I love the stuff that the kids design. Oh, it's very sweet, isn't it? Um, and then this is um, 
it's a bird box. I kind of have a thing for bird boxes, so I, I quite like this sort of natural shape that makes the roof. Anyway, so you can see lots of twigs stuck on the roof, and can you see this is string? Yeah. Brilliant. A little hole. We saw my foot stand. I think it's really nice. Yeah, it's really it's aesthetically lovely. pleasing. Yeah. Actually, it was really enjoyable wrapping yeah. the string around yeah. it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Very cute. And actually, the, the, um, the brands that this comes from got in touch with me and have put it on their Facebook page. Isn't that nice? <laughs> That's lovely. That's a job, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, so I hope we had a nice selection of different crafts. Um, some people are little ones, some people are bigger ones. Nice to see how the different kids and age groups work on their own and independently. Yeah, really and and I totally agree with Chris. You know, sometimes they like painting, sometimes they don't. But a lot of these crafts, you know, you don't always have to do all the steps. You can just do the steps that appeal to you. So it's really about making it your own. So anyway, so thank you to everyone who joined in today. I hope you enjoyed our craft and see you in the red art again soon. Bye. 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 Bye.